would you like to make an opening statement and then we'll take questions for you and your players? Uh, yeah, I'd just like to open up first, uh, you know, thanking these seniors. Uh, that, uh, unfortunately, this was their last game. Uh, I'd just like to thank those guys and, you know, for the career they've had with us. Uh, it's always hard to have that last game. And, uh, you know, Daquan and Steph and Shahid, these guys have been first class kids and, uh, you know, they're going to graduate this spring as well from UCF, which I'm proud of. But I just want to thank those guys. Those guys have given a lot to our program. And, uh, and obviously these three guys to the right to me. You know, these guys have played their heart out all year long. Um, you know, you're looking at two sophomores and a freshman uh, that, that did a lot of great things for our program this year and it really built a great foundation for the future. So I'm really proud of these guys that are up here. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we got down in the first half. Didn't think we had a great start to the game. It was too hyped up probably uh, playing in front of the home crowd, having a chance to, to go out here. A lot of guys were were really uh, just a little too hyped. And uh, once we calmed down at halftime, thought we'd come out, did exactly what we needed to, got ourselves back in the game, and, and put ourselves in a situation down the stretch here. Obviously, we got up five, but you got to finish the game. And, uh, you know, give Tulane credit. They battled back and made the plays down the stretch, and, uh, and unfortunately, we fell short. Questions, please raise your hand so we can have the microphones um, brought to you. Questions for AJ. Um, with seconds left on the clock, I think you guys had a 30, and you know you threw in and out of the ball. Can you just walk us through um, that last possession? What was your thinking on it? Uh, I knew we had another timeout. We set up a good play to run. Um, you know, I, I felt I felt like he was open, and um, you know, we just, it was just a little miscommunication, and um, you know, the pass just we didn't get to him. You know, they, they, they played solid defense and, um, you know, probably a bad decision on my part. I probably could have went ahead and called the timeout, but, um, you know, I, I thought he had a good look at, at cutting and, you know, Matt's a great shooter, so I just thought he was going to one-two one two into it and, you know, knock down the shot. I believe he was going to make it. So, um, you know, you, it's just one of those, you could have called the timeout, you know, you could have played it. I just, I, I felt like, I, I thought he was open and, um, you know, we just didn't communicate right on it. Play, but we had a good play drawn up, and um, we just weren't, weren't able to execute. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Coach, is this kind of just an overall, maybe like a microcosm of the season? You know, slow start, struggle offensively, uh, turnovers, and just not being able to, to get the finish there down the stretch? Yeah, we had some moments uh, that we did do that, but you know we had some games where we did start out well. Turnovers have hurt us a lot this year uh, during the year. That has been a struggle for us, uh, especially offensively. I mean, I thought we played well enough defensively to have a chance to win the game tonight. The defense actually kept us in the game uh, tonight, and especially when we were struggling to turn it over when we turned it over. Uh, but uh, but we did get off to a slow start, but you know we did battle back. Tonight. You talk about defense, and this is for the players as well. You guys were out rebounding them for most of the game. Does that add to the level of frustration in this loss, knowing that you did out rebound Tulane? Yeah. Yes, I mean, I thought um, actually, um, you know, we did out rebound about 13 uh, in the game, and uh, you know, obviously had our opportunities. A lot of the times, you know, they were self inflicted. You know issues that we had on the offensive end. You know, especially in the first half, I think we had 13 turnovers at halftime, and I can't say a lot of those were unforced turnovers uh, that we didn't get a shot up at all. But uh, we rebounded well enough. It wasn't second shots that beat us. It was either uh, a bad shot early on, or a shot didn't go down. You know, we had some looks that just we didn't make them. For Adonis and AJ, as two of the main guys coming back for next year's team, what kind of what do you have to do to, to when you look back at the season, what do you have to do to build and, and move forward to next season and kind of make next season better? Mm -hmm. Just think get better as basketball players. Um, I think both of us know we have a lot of room to improve, and, and there's a lot of things we could do better on the floor. Um, you know, I think a lot of it for us was experience. Like we're young, we. We have pretty big roles as a, you know, that's not an excuse by any means, but um, I think just the experience and growing and, um, you know, just getting to know our team and, and you know, 
having team chemistry over the summer and stuff like that is going to help us help us a lot. Um, so just just getting better going into next year, looking back on this year, seeing what we did wrong, um, and uh, just trying to find where we can improve to, to help our team next year. Uh, <clears throat> Adonis, AJ, um, I'd like to hear from you if you can. Um, you guys were up by six with four minutes to go. Um, you guys kind of started building a little bit of momentum. Um, what can you learn from what happened following uh, that lead? I think uh, our shot selection the last four, four to five minutes, um, we just took some more shots that we uh, shouldn't have rushed or whatever. Um, I'm just uh, really proud of our team, and really proud of these seniors for everything they gave to us. And uh, next year we'll be back and we'll be a better team. Pretty much what he said. I think turnovers and bad shots kind of hurt us the whole game. You know, we were just kind of um, just rushed a little bit. You know, we, we just, when we slowed down and just played basketball, we had some great looks. You know, I was in the rush. I had five turnovers, so you know there were some passes I probably shouldn't have thrown, or you know some plays I tried to um, make that I shouldn't have. But um, yeah, I'm, I, I agree with everything he said. You know, I'm, I'm just I'm proud of our team. I think we get a did, uh, gave a great effort. I think we you know played 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 with some heart, but we just didn't finish out the game. Yeah, Taco, would you mind just talking about your first season, how you think you progressed, and what you think the future of the program is? And also for Coach Jones, that's it. I think uh, I learned a lot during this season. Um, coming in, I only had three years playing, and I think I came along pretty well. And, um, I got to thank my teammates, also the coaches, for just staying on me all the time, everybody. Starting from the seniors, you had Juan, you had um, Stefan, even the junior, and um, um, Justin Doe always in my ears. This time, me, um, that could always give more, so I thank them a lot for that. Cook. And um, the coaches, you had Coach Jones, Coach Tillis, just staying in my ear also every day, staying in the gym with me. Um, that helped me come along for a yeah, I think, um, Mike, I think Tucker really grew. You know, obviously, it's third year playing balls. You mentioned uh, you know, the speed of the game was the biggest thing he needed to experience. The only way you can experience that is play. Um, you know, he had to see a lot of different things. The physicality, obviously, was a, uh, was new, like it is to most freshmen. But uh, uh, I really love the way that he really uh, took coaching, the way he progressed, uh, the way he uh, trusted his teammates. I think uh, both, both of them had to learn to play with him, and he had to learn to play with them. And uh, you started to see that emerge towards the end of the year. And uh, uh, this spring, this summer will be huge for him in the falls. And will for these other two guys sitting right here and our team coming back. Um, you know, we'll, we'll bring back seven or, of our top probably eight guys. And obviously, we have P.J. Taylor sitting out, who's a very important piece to our team uh, next year. And then uh, obviously, we'll add four, five new players. So I think uh, I'm excited about this group here, who we got. And although we fell a little short tonight, these guys, I know they care. They got a great love for each other, and uh, you know I know the process of, of building this group here is going to be uh, fun to continue to build. Coach Adams from yes. Fox 35, uh, how much frustration was there for you over the course of the season? There were a lot of things out of your control, injuries and some other things, sure. and then you guys played well at times and then had some slipping. How much frustration? Overall? Well, you know it's easy to be. I don't really get frustrated. Obviously, you want guys to play play well. You know, sometimes you get young guys; uh, they have to experience it. And these guys got to let them play through a lot of stuff because I knew it was not necessarily about the now as much as it was the future. And I think that uh, you know, sometimes when you have young guys, uh, they haven't experienced it. There's usually inconsistency, and that's sometimes knowing how hard to play, how hard to compete, and sometimes being consistent. And you know, we struggled as a group with that sometimes because. We probably asked more from our young guys than we did our older guys. And um, so with that, um, these guys did an amazing job with what we asked from them every day. Great attitude. Um, obviously, they have showed up on the win column, but I know the competitors these guys are. They came here to help build a program, change a, change a process. And unfortunately, that's not going to happen in one night. That's going to take some, a little bit of time. But I love the pieces that we got here with this group. Coach. Coach, emotional, that game was emotional towards the end of the game, ups and downs for your side. Did sure. you ever at any point in time notice 
maybe the team was getting too high or too low. I mean, there was times where I, some players were maybe getting emotional there towards the end. Yeah, well, of course. I mean, I think any time uh, you got a game that's coming down close like this, it's going to be emotional. I mean, uh, I don't know about too high or too low. You got to get stops. You know, Tulane made some big shots there. I think we got up five or six. And they hit two big threes there uh, that were huge. But we still had opportunities to come down and score. And, you know, we missed some shots and had some shots that were good looks, just didn't go. And uh, it comes down to making plays in these kind of situations. And, uh, you know, we fell short with that. But these kids battled. No one tucked their head uh, at all. Uh, the, these kids have competed. And when you're not winning and getting the instant results, sometimes it's easy to tuck your head. But uh, I have to say this group has never done that. They've uh, uh, been discouraged sometimes because they want to do well and they care. But, uh, but this is a group that will continue to get better. And, and you'll see a better team next year. Coach Matt Saunders, Central Florida Future. Uh, you talked about the turnovers being an issue in the game today. Uh, sure. Do you uh, attribute um, that to more of how Tulane was playing on defense or maybe some miscommunications uh, on offense? Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't want to take away from Tulane. I mean, obviously, they're a good defensive team. We played them a couple times. And obviously, we've won two games already against them coming into here. So they didn't do anything different than what we expected. Uh, you know, I think that we sometimes was a little hyped up trying to do too much. Uh, sometimes guys were. Uh, just trying to make things happen, not selfishly, but I think sometimes just by the speed of the game, they're trying to get our, get something going for our team. And sometimes that become one mistake, two mistakes, and then it just got consistent with uh, with others. But uh, but regardless of all that, as I told our team at halftime, we were down eight, and, and we didn't play as well as we could because we were too hyped up. Had 13 turnovers, uh, we were still right there. We would shot four for 11 from the free throw line in the first half. We missed seven free throws or it's a one-point game. We go back to the second half, I thought we made an adjustment. I mean, we, we shot 13 of 14 or 14 of 15 from the free throw line. Uh, we made some big plays to get ourselves up. And uh, we were right there uh, to have a chance to win this game. Coach, uh, yes. question has to be asked. Did sure. you feel like your job was on the line coming into tonight? There's been a lot of outside noise about you know, the pressures of the season, the way the team performed the season. Did you feel like that tonight? I did not. I did not feel like that. I mean, there's always pressures in every job. I think always some pressures when anyone's coaching. And, uh, but I, didn't, I never coach under pressure like that. I think uh, it was about these guys tonight. It's about these seniors. It's about this team. And obviously having a chance to, you know, hopefully keep this thing rolling. And uh, we were so close to that. Just being a part in Bright House Sports Network, kind of stemming off Shane's question there, sure. walking off the court, what was your reflection process like taking the season and kind of finally realizing what could potentially unfold with this group if this essentially was the last chance with these guys tonight? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you always have emotions going off. I think more than anything for those three seniors, I was walking off, really wanted to, to carry on for them. And uh, the thought process always as coaches were looking ahead thinking, once this is over, you know, what do we got to do to get better? Uh, how we put ourselves in a situation to, to learn from this? And because uh, we'll be here again next year and have a chance to do something about it. Um, and how we want to grow this team from this experience. So that's kind of was my reflection walking off the floor. Any other questions for Coach reflecting on the on next year, is there any chance since the tournament is here, you guys are a hometown team, that you will have the guys come to the championship game just so they can visualize that and possibly see themselves being in that position come next year? That's a good question. I mean, that's something that we may look at doing. I mean, uh, obviously, I think there's always something to learn from that, uh, to see that feeling and, and watch what it's about with other guys. So that's something we may look at doing, but uh, that's something we'll discuss.